So this is going to be a quick reason video to talk about some of the basics of cables and wiring in Reason. And when I say cables and wiring, I'm talking about uh, when you hit tab, uh, it flips devices around, and I'm talking about uh, all these cables and wires and the plugs and how, how this sort of works and how you sort of can start to understand what's going on back here. Um, so just to start, you don't have to deal with the back. You can uh, just open up a device. It will cr be plugged in so that you can start playing it immediately. Um, and then when you go to a device, it will automatically plug that in. Uh, so you don't have to mess around with the back. But if you look back here, it automatically plugs things in in a way so that you get the desired sort of effect. Um, but you can get a little bit more complicated and start uh, plugging things in custom ways and coming up with new sort of routing things that give you new sounds and new ways to use devices. Um, so one thing to note is if you hold shift as you bring in a device, it will not automatically plug it in. And that will be useful if you're doing a somewhat complicated thing and you don't want the auto routing to mess up a bunch of the stuff that you had already done. Um, so, anyways, that's that. Um, there's two main types of uh, plugs. There's audio plugs, which are slightly bigger, and these CV plugs, which are slightly smaller. Uh, CV stands for control voltage, and CV is basically uh, how you can connect LFOs or uh, any type of modifier to a different, um, to like a filter frequency knob or amp level or... Um, oscillator pitch or something like that whereas the audio is just purely audio waves and so uh, wherever this is going is where the sound is going um, and another thing to note is there's inputs and outputs uh, same for CV and uh, only in inputs can only go to outputs and outputs to inputs you can't have inputs go to inputs um, you can't have outputs go to outputs. Uh, so, um, if if it's a valid plug, uh, then it will sort of glow red when you hover over it. Um, and if it's not valid, it won't glow and won't connect. Um, and so, if, if you're trying to connect something and it's not connecting, it's likely because you're trying to plug an input into an input or an output into an output. Um, yeah. So, just a quick sort of note. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select my subtractor because uh, I'm going to sort of explain what, what the CV side of things uh, is all about. Um, basically, what we're going to, uh, if you want to be connecting the LFO to something on the front of the device, uh, you have to use this, everything that's in this little box. Um, you have your waveform selection here, and then you have what you want to have it affecting over here. So um, if I want alpha 01 to control oscillator 1 and 2 pitch, then I have this selected. Um, and right now I'm not hearing anything. Uh, but as I turn up the amount, then it will start to affect it. Um, and if I want it to control the filter frequency, then I turn do the same thing. Um, but it's fairly limiting because I only have these six selections to choose from, which in most cases these six selections is going to be fine. Um, but sometimes uh, you want to do something else like having this uh, alpha control the resonance of this filter. And I don't have that selection here, so I'm just sort of out of luck. I can't, uh, can't do that on the front. But luckily, we have cables and we have the back. So if I go ahead and flip it around, I can do the same thing that I started with, where I'm having uh, oscillator one pitch uh, affected by the LFO. And I do that by taking LFO one from back here and plugging it into the oscillator pitch. So right now, it's a super extreme, uh, and that's because by default all these are already turned all the way up. So if I turn this all the way down, it's normal as I turn it up. Start to get the pitch effect that I was going for. Um, 
and you have more options back here uh, so I could, I could plug the LFO one uh, into the filter one resonance uh, and get the effect that I, w that I was going for that I couldn't do in the front. So that's a, just a very basic sort of explanation of uh, what, what you're going to do. Um, the key thing to take note of is when you are messing around with stuff on the back, it allows you to go use things from different devices. So for example, I could, let's say I really like this LFO in the Maelstrom, I could take um, the output of uh, that LFO and then control the um, filter frequency of this uh, subtractor. And I couldn't have done that with just using the fronts of these devices, but now you see that the output is coming out of the subtractor, the audio is coming out of the subtractor, but this LFO is the one affecting this uh, frequency knob. So um, anyways, uh, that's a super basic explanation. Uh, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, there is more that I'm going to want to cover, um, but I'm going to uh, put this video up and sort of, uh, I want some feedback and some uh, additional questions, uh, things that I didn't explain well or that you'd like to, me to go in further, um, and I'll try and include that in the next video where I talk about the cables and wires and reason. So anyways, hopefully you got something out of this, and uh, make sure to comment and um, let me know what you want to learn about, um, and hopefully you got something out of it. Thanks.